Hey guys, this is North back again with another video. Today's video, I'm coming to you with 10 bottles I have in my collection that I plan on finishing this year. Trying to get them moved out, not sold, but actually wearing them until they're finished. These are bottles that are kind of low. So I just want to go ahead and finish them so I can get them off of my list. So let's go ahead and see what they are. The first fragrance I want to mention is one I actually was able to finish this past week. And it's from the House of Rogue Perfumery, and this one is called Flora and Fauna. Now this is a all natural fruity sheeper fragrance. It is discontinued. There may be a couple of spots that still have it available, but I was able to finally finish this bottle off. I've had it for a couple of years. Again, this is a sheeper fruity. It was released in 2020. Some of the notes on it are apricot, oak moss, labdanum, bergamot. A typical structure for a sheeper fragrance. Let's keep it moving. Now, all of the rest of the fragrances that I will mention do have some juice left. This next one is from Mass Milano, and this one is Mandala. This is a unique uh, incense-based fragrance. Me, I do like it, but if you if you're if you like incense, I still would not suggest blind buying this one because this one is sort of kind of a weird type of incense type of fragrance. Recently, I believe the creative director and the CEO of the brand, he did pass away. But, and also recently, um, maybe two or three weeks ago, maybe about, yeah, about two or three weeks ago, I did purchase a 100 ml bottle of this. It's not that I absolutely love this fragrance. I do like it. It is, uh, it's, it's nice. It's not my favorite incense based fragrance, but I just love the way that their 100 ml bottles look. These are only 35 ml. I've had this one for a couple of years, so I want to go ahead and finish that. So I'll break into the 100 ml bottle. Uh, Mandala was released in 2017. This one has frankincense, incense, nutmeg, labdanum, myrrh, oak moss, ambergris. And it's sort of like an incense type of fragrance, but with like static electricity running through it. It's hard to describe this fragrance. You know, um, some people have different favorites from the brand, but this was the very first one that once I smelled, this is when I was really on my incense kick that uh, I just had to have. And now I'll have a 100 ml bottle coming. Uh, let's keep it moving. The next fragrance is from the house of Santa Maria Novella. And this one is called Opapanax. With these, these are quite confusing because they the front of them all look the same, but then the name is on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see that says Opapanax. This fragrance, I was really looking forward to getting in just because I love resins and resinous fragrances. But this one, um, Opapanax, I didn't love. Even people um, that have reviews of this do like this scent. This is not one of my favorite scents at all. It just doesn't do it for me. It just smells like like an aftershave. I don't know what it is, but this one has Opapanax, resinous musk, and patchouli. There's no release date on this one, but um, I'll use it sort of like after, um, you know, cutting my hair, lining up my beard, things like that, uh, to bed, stuff like that, so I can get through it. But I do want to finish this one and get it out of my uh, collection. Moving on. The next fragrance I'm looking to finish is from the house of Stefan Humbert Lucas. This is one of my favorite rose fragrances, and this one is called Rose de Petra. You know, with these, it's hard with the reflection to see. Rose de Petra was released in 2013. The notes on this one are, of course, rose, lychee, pomegranate, cardamom, pepper, and cumin. And with that pepper and cumin, it gives it sort of like a dirty rose feel and that's why i like it it is a one-of-a-kind type of rose scent i don't know if i would purchase it again this is how much i have left of it just because i mean there's a bunch of rose fragrances out there i'd love to explore something new moving on the next fragrance is from the house of chanel and this one is crystal overt this is one fragrance it might be the first fragrance i ever purchased secondhand I got this when I was in Malaysia. Somebody had it. It was almost full. Maybe it was about 5 ml missing from it. Maybe less than that. And since I didn't have very many fragrances with me, I mean, most it was the summertime. So, you know, I go through a lot of citrus fragrances. So I use quite a bit of, quite a bit of it. <clears throat> and this one is a citrus flor uh, forward floral fragrance. It doesn't smell much like the original Cristal to me, but it is a very good scent. Um, this one was released in 2009 
and the notes on it are lemon, bergamot, neroli, jasmine, iris. It is, it is, it isn't just like an eau de cologne type of smell. Um, people may think that it's more um, feminine leaning, but it's just a good summertime scent. I believe I'll be able to like smash this in a few days over the summer. Moving on. Next fragrance I want to finish is one of the greatest uh, discontinued fragrances that I have found. We'll see if I'll be able to finish it, but I will try to use as much of it as possible. I hardly ever wear it just because it is discontinued, but I don't really want to hoard it, especially the way the bottle is. And this one is from Issy Miyake. This one is called La Oud de Issy Por Om Yuzu. I have quite a bit. It's a 125 ml bottle, but I do want to wear it. I've had this for probably four years and I hardly ever wear it. So I want to just go ahead and give it some wears. If I finish it this year, cool. If I don't, it's okay. But I just don't want to hold on to things, especially because it's a citrus fragrance and I'm not trying to have a vintage citrus fragrance. Uh, this Yuzu scent was released in 2014. Some of the notes on it are, of course, Yuzu, citron, orange, ginger, nutmeg. So those are some of the notes. And I just want to go ahead and get into it this summer and see what it's really talking about. Moving on. Next fragrance is from the House of Dior. And this one is Fahrenheit 32. This one was also featured on my uh, top discontinued fragrance list. This one is about half full. So this is another one that I'm going to try to get through during the summer. It's not much left. Uh, Fahrenheit 32 was released in 2007. Only list three notes, orange blossom, vetiver, and vanilla. And to me, this is probably my favorite flanker at the moment. I may get a bottle of Fahrenheit Absolute. I did own it at some time, but I wasn't loving it, but let's see. Next fragrance, I think I might be able to get through it this year. We'll see. It's no rush on this one. This one's from the House of Diptyque. It's a Herod's exclusive, and this one is Opsis. Now, when I very first got this one in, I just was, I guess, wearing it like crazy because I, I haven't worn it that many times, and this, this is how much of the juice is left. Not very much. So... Opsis was released in 2022. This one has olibanum, bergamot, iris, and musk. So I'll definitely still keep it around for when the city exclusives from Le Labo come out so I can compare the two, see which one is better. But that's it. I may be able to get through this one this year. We'll try to try to wear try to wear my fragrances instead of constantly buying new ones. That's really the goal. Moving on. Almost done. The next fragrance is from a Japanese house called Desir. And the reason why I may get through this one is because it's such a small bottle. It's a 33 ml bottle. This one is called Adamiku. And I'm, I've already wore maybe about a third of it. And Adamiku, there's no release date on this one. It's considered a floral fruity fragrance. And this one has sweet orange, osmanthus, jasmine, olibanum, and benzoin. benzoin. And to me, what I get from this, I do get the citrus from it, but then I also get like this greenness from it. Um, maybe it's like the um, the osmanthus and the jasmine. I don't get much of any like resinous type of feel from it, at least from what I initially got from wearing it. But I'll probably be able to just get through this one, maybe see if I can get some samples and check other things out from the brand. This one is really like a choir type of taste. People that are into this particular house are are few, but one but they they're really fanboys of it though. Let's move it on. The next fragrance is only a 10 ml bottle and this one was from Alige Arige Lodore um, from Russian Adam and this one is the 10 ml of Civet de Nuit. I was able to get this one when it first dropped. I do love this scent, but I, ha I hardly ever wear it just because I keep it with like other um, of my like gym type of fragrances that I keep in the fridge. So it's like out of sight, out of mind. It's about five ml left. So I'll, I just want to just go ahead and wear it. Civet de Nuit was released in 2022. This one has heliotrope, aldehyde, civet, labdanum, mysore sandalwood, and benzoin. And Always when I smell this one, I'm reminded of bee for some reason. It has this sweet, uh, indolic, uh, honey type of feel to it. So I'll probably finish this one this year. Moving on to the last fragrance. And the last fragrance that I want to try to get through this year is the fullest one of the bunch. This one is from the House of Guerlain from the Aqua Allegoria line. And this one is Pampaloon. 
Now, as you see, this one is an older formulation bottle. I was able to get a tester of it. The cap is not even like the real cap. Uh, but the reason why I want to wear this one as much as I can is because, like I said, this one was released in 1999. So it's an old citrus based fragrance. And to me, it's, it's not as fresh as if I, I would rather have a brand new bottle of it. But once you spray it on and it starts to dry down, you do get that grapefruit from it. And uh, so I wanna go ahead and get through it because the longer it sits, probably the worse that it gets. So I would never purchase a vintage citrus base fragrance. So Pampaloon was again released in 1999. This one has grapefruit, bergamot, pettigrain, neroli, vanilla. This is one that I would get a brand new bottle of for sure. I do really like grapefruit uh, citrus type fragrances, but this one I want to get through. It's, it has the most of it, so I have a, work, a lot of work to do on that one. But that's it guys. Those are the bottles, I believe 10 or 11 bottles that I do want to get through this year and try to empty them make some more space for, for newer fragrances in my collection. Are there any bottles in your collection that you're looking to finish? Do you keep them when you have a little bit left? Do you like uh, saving them uh, up so you, don't, uh, so you don't get rid of the bottle? Let me know in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.